Right, good morning, I am up. It is almost 11 o'clock. Uh, I've been up for about an hour. We've just massively pranked my mum. My, my, dad, my dad just rang up my mum and said, I'm really, I, I've never heard him act like this before either. It was really good, really convincing. Um, I, I don't know where Matthew is. I'm getting worried, I'm starting to get worried. And my mum is going, calm down, it's fine. He'll be fine, let's try and work this out. And then I rang her at the same time, so it was beeping on her phone. And so she hung up and rang me back. And I was like, I think I've broken my ankle and I'm stuck in the cellar of a hospital. And she's like, oh, Matthew, what? where are you? It's about 20 miles away. And then I told her and we were all okay, but she, she was panicking. It was good though. Anyway, feeling pretty fresh to be fair to say. I've only had four hours sleep, but we're gonna get out and go off and see John, who is my mum's cousin, I think. Uh, he lives uh, quite a while, quite a bit away from here, but he used to live on the Isle of Mull, where Tobermory is, Balamore, all that. So anyway, I'm gonna get dressed. Right, we dressed, we sorted, we're ready to go out the door, finally. I am so tired, but we'll be fine, we'll be good. That's the thing though, I need food and I need drink and I need to just get my, you want to be on camera, don't you? <laughs> as bad as me, constantly wanting the attention. Yeah. Right, come on, let's go. Right, we're out on the road. We've got 90 miles to drive, so it's like two hours. <laughs> we said we we're going to be there for one. We're definitely not going to be there for one. It's going to be more like two. So, don't know how happy he's going to be with us, but it's unlucky. <laughs> we can't help it. One of those things. I didn't realise it was as far as this, to be fair. I thought it was a lot closer, but... I'm, I can't be getting up ridiculous o'clock in the morning when I've got in at ridiculous o'clock, so we can blame me for this one. Um, the sun's coming out a little bit, which is good. It's been absolutely banging it down all night. You saw some of the rain last night, but when I was driving, it was horrendous. So anyway, we're gonna go try and get there as quick as I can. Right, I've stopped at the side of the road because my eyes Ah, oh, I'm tired, I'm very tired. Just need a bit of fresh air and my leg, right leg's seized up from climbing into cellars and stuff last night. So I'm just having a minute. I came to the bin to drop some stuff off. It's a bit windy, it's going a bit clouds over there compared to the blue sky over there. I'm just gonna bang it down again in a minute. Anyway, I'll let you go because it's very windy. Right, so I am at my relative John's house at the moment. I don't, I don't want to film him. He's, he's not the youngest and he probably won't get it. So I'll quickly show you, I, I'm trying to be quiet. I'll show you where I am, but then that's it. So that's his little dog there, look. Called Nont, not Nons, called Nont. And then these are all, these are my relatives and stuff on the wall up here. But like I said, I don't really, they're upstairs at the moment, don't really want to show them. But how nice is that fire? And it's sending me to sleep at the moment. There's one horrible thing in this house though. He's a Sheffield United fan. <coughs> Awful. Right, so, I know you've hardly seen me today and that's because I've been with, with John, who is, right, to fill you in, he is my, mum's dad's sister's son so it's it's a bit of a weird one but he like we class him as like close family we've always spoken to him he used to live on mull and this is the village he's from but i didn't want to i just wanted to talk to him i didn't want to show you guys because it's not fair on him either but this is the village he lives in i'll quickly show you so they're in the car as you can see you've got like a, a market place over there you've got all your little shops just like you would do but then there's this look at this what a mad big building that is and I, do, I think it does give you some information as you can hear it is still quite windy here as well it does give you a bit of information here but i don't i'm gonna have to try and work out what that says just give me a second Right, so basically it was built in 1849, 
to mark the spot of a pagan church, which is something to do with the buildings over there, which has been here, just trying to get out of this wind a bit. It's been here since the second century and they used to do pagan rituals and uh, it's got, apparently the water here has got special properties uh, that cure leprosy and it's all a bit weird. I love weird history like that. Like, I, I obviously I can't spend too much time here. We've got another two hour drive to go back. But just seeing stuff like this, that's, that's just, it's just good. And like some of the stones and stuff over there, like stand, not standing stones, like flat stones over there, look really, really old. But yeah, there's been something there since the second century. Mad. Anyway, back in the car and back to our place that we're staying. Right, so me and Freddie have popped in Burger King quickly because I'm starving. It's been hard eating today. Triple cheese um, burger, king fries, coke, and some chubby cheese bites. Do you want anything? Yeah, let's get something for you as well then. Just just thinking about me instead of. <laughs> what do you want then? Do you just want, uh, do you want something sweet or do you want. Do you want like something off there? You're not having ice cream though, you've had so many. Do you want a Madeline? That's where she went. Anyway, we're gonna have a look. Right, Freddie ended up getting this massive milkshake. And what else did you have? Oh, cookie, weren't it? Yeah. Is that it? Oh no, that's not it. Where's your cookie? Oh, it's here. That's your cookie. So you got a big fat cookie. And I've got cheese with loads of, loads of, chips mate. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on. Right, so we're back at the apartment. We literally have had five minutes then we're going back out for some food. I've not really shown you very much today. I know I haven't, but we needed today for us and so everything else you're gonna see is gonna be for you. So anyway, I'll go and show you what we're having. Look how tired my eyes are. I need sleep tonight, I really do, but I've gotta go out again in a bit. Right, so we're having an Indian. You know I can never resist having an Indian. Freddie is having, what are you having? What were yours uh, now? It was a child's uh, thing. A child's thing? I can't was remember. it chicken, tandoori chicken yours or something uh, like that? Chicken masala, I think. Ah, well, That's chicken masala. Tandoori. I'm sure it's tandoori, mine's masala. So, but anyway, starters are here, pickles are here. Oh, brilliant, thank you. Just, Thanks ever so much. And now the bread's here. Right, mine's here. I've gone for prawn. Oh, they look good, you know. They look good prawns. Yeah, they aren't bad, are they? Big, big thing of rice between us. We've got some chips coming as well. What did you end up going for, Rogan Josh? Yeah, Rogan and Josh. Yes. And Lovely you're, you're smashing yours as well, aren't you? I think you're enjoying it. And then I've got chocolate ice cream after. Well, yeah, you would do, you big fatty. <laughs> right, right. Mm. come on. Right, we've smashed the food and I'm making him pay the bill, which is, which is not really good. This is something else going in the book uh, from this restaurant. I'll stick that in there as well, just in case you ever want to go. No, it's just, you can see it in the video and see it was in my hand. Right, we've just made our way up from the food place. Just notice this place. Look inside here. How cool is it in here? It's like a massive greenhouse thing with massive chandeliers made out of wood it's really really good there's some lovely places to be fair i definitely would recommend coming here if you ever get a chance to come to la rochelle i feel like i say this all the time wherever i go like wh whichever place i go to I, I recommend it but yeah definitely 100 come here right we're back at the apartment and i've made an executive decision i've decided i'm going out exploring tonight but i am going out early tomorrow and doing two i've done i've I've driven a lot today and we've been bombing about all day. We got up early, I only had three hours sleep. So I'm being good, like you tell me to get rest. I wanna do two locations tomorrow and then one the night after. And that gives me my four, my target of four, which is good. But if I go out tonight, I just, because it's almost midnight now, I just think I'll be a mess in the morning again. I just don't think it's worth it. So that's what I've decided to do. Right, good morning. It is Tuesday. Uh, we just got up. Um, 
or off out for the day. I decided last night, I don't, you know, yesterday was a bit of a, a cop out. I hardly spoke to you, I hardly told you anything, but just wanted to get stuff done. So today we're going out and doing stuff, but instead of going out exploring last night, I thought I'd have a rest and I'm going to go out a bit earlier tonight and do a couple of explores rather than doing one last night and one today. So we're going to go and have a look and do some stuff all together now and then uh, and then I'll go out probably about six or seven o'clock. So let's get out. Right, we've popped down to the village just next door. We've got a boulangerie there. I'm going to go and get some breakfast. It's very bright. Oh, I've worked out what the parking's for. There's a running track there. Yeah, we're trying to work out there's like one shop there and then this massive car park for no real reason but there's a there's a running track so it make, does make sense uh, so yeah i can smell the place we're going to it smells delightful so i'm gonna get over there it's very bright today like it's gray but it's really bright right got sorted finally found somewhere look at these bad boys there freddie's got the raspberry one i've gone for two because i couldn't decide which and was yours having cheese croissant it was, yes. Yeah, so having cheese glass on, a couple of coffees, and away we go. Decent, <laughs> decent, healthy breakfast. <laughs> you can't beat a good, healthy breakfast. Now, I know people keep telling me off for eating all this stuff. I'm going to be good when I get home, I promise. But, yeah, I, I, what, what are you laughing at? I'll be good, I'll be good. Freddie, you'll make me good, won't you? Yeah. See, we'll be good. Right. We're heading down to go and have a look at the sea. You know I always have to try and come and look at the sea when I'm here. Thing is, it's just out of season really. Yeah, so there's obviously something about to happen here. Everything's set up, ready for some event, but I don't know what it is. Like I say, we're just sort of out of season at the moment, but it's because you can see it's a bit gray. It's not quite, the best weather here but in summer i bet it's absolutely rammed I bet it's full of people anyway look look at this beach yeah like i said we have got a bit of blue sky but it's mainly gray but yeah we've got something about to happen here don't really know what it is though but the, the beaches here are lovely really really nice we've got things like big wheels and stuff for the kids here definitely something somewhere worth coming in the summer I think but I just think it would be absolutely rammed anyway might get the drone out for a minute I think our friends are desperate to get in there, aren't you? Yeah, but I just keep, the waves just keep chasing me. <laughs> I know. So, um, yeah, so where we were, I'm trying to cover this with, from the wind for you, but we were over here um, where the port is and everything, where we've had our food and everything, that's over that direction. Uh, if you go that way, you get to Bordeaux. I am very aware of how windy it is here, so I am going to try and not film. We might walk up to the casino when he's had a chance to have a bit of a play about. Right, so we've just moved 
away from the beach, it's still windy. Freddie's found someone's been shooting shotguns on the beach, which is a bit bizarre. Okay. Um, but this is like a big restaurant and the casino. The casino looks quite old to be fair compared to all the other buildings here. We think that there was an event going off here, a festival going off here up until yesterday. So they're not putting stuff up, they're taking it down by the looks of things. It will have been for Easter. So anyway, I'm gonna go and find a toilet <laughs> and see what else we can find up here. Apart from these bizarre faceless women around this corner that obviously my dad's noticed. Anything female he's gonna be checking out, clearly. Look at him, he's a weirdo. Look, look at the faceless women. Anyway, toilet time. Right. Freddie's off playing on the playground over there. I've decided, it was Easter yesterday. I decided that I'd not really done a great deal for Easter for him, which is a bit of a shame. He's happy because he's here. So I've got some eggs. I'm in the crazy golf. I'm gonna set up a, um, a few eggs, gonna put them all over and do a bit of an egg hunt. I'm gonna see if I can get the drone and follow him round, see if I can get him, see if I can film it. Bit of a challenge for me at the same time then, but I think he'll enjoy it. Yeah, so I picked up these Mr. Man eggs. Well, actually, Monsieur, Madame, Mr. Men and Little Misses. Um, so I'm gonna bomb these over, round this bit. Like I say, he's over there. So, Freds, yeah. you're not allowed to watch where I'm putting them. Yeah. There we go, right. I'll go and put these out for him. Right, there's 18 eggs to find. So try and count them as you're putting them in. Put them back in that bag and they're all the way around, like literally all the way around here. All so, the way around the crazy golf? Yeah, so I'm gonna set up the drone. I'm gonna follow you with the drone as much as I can. <laughs> there's bits that I'm not gonna be able to because it's too, it's like there's not much space and I'm gonna end up smashing it into something, but I'll try my best for you, all right? Okay. Tell me, I'll tell you when I'm ready. to his last one he's just literally found the 17th there's one to go he's having such a good time i'm not gonna lie i didn't do the best job of following him around it's hard it's really hard to concentrate on which way i need to go and which way he's going at the same time so hopefully he'll find this last one because i don't want to be here like 18 hours trying to find the last one <laughs> I've just counted them again as well because I didn't want to be looking for something that didn't exist which is something that I would normally do. Not going to lie, I absolutely love this drone and I want to say a massive thank you. There's been a lot of confusion as well. People are like, I thought you'd had it stolen. This is a different drone. So I went to Italy in, I think it was January and then I got it stolen and then I bought uh, Patreons and everybody helped out to get another one. And they, oh, you still can't find it. There's still one more. <laughs> and this is the one that we bought just after that and went back to Italy in February or March. I can't remember. But th that's why there's the confusion of where this drone's appeared from. But yeah, it was uh, it was hard we work to get a good one. We've got another good one. So we can't find the last one, can we? No. Do we think that I've counted it wrong and there's only 17, Probably, not 18? Because we have searched every bush, haven't we? 
know where it could be, so I think we've got them all. I'm that, gonna have a nice that looks right, yeah. Smash one down, yeah. Get it eaten. What you got? Who, who you got on there, Mister Herlux? Her <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on then. Right. Yeah. You enjoyed that though. Mm -mm. You look red in the face now. <laughs> That's it. You smash it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, right, come on then, let's go. Right, we're gonna head back to the car. I just think it's so cute, this place. Like, it's very quiet though. There were 17. Oh, but we decided there was only 17 and I miscounted. Yeah. Fair enough. Right, let's head back up to the car. Right, we're heading in the car to the island where me and Andy ended up sleeping last time we came, um, where we camped. We camped on this island where the donkeys were. If you've not watched the 150 pound car video, you 100% need to. Well, it's not just one, it's a series of videos. Because we had such a good time, there's so many good things we saw. But trust me, when we woke up on that beach that day, we were not feeling very good. We were hungover, we were tired because we'd not slept very well. Uh, it was a bit nippy, similar sort of, like don't get me wrong, it's not cold here today. It's just gray, but it was a similar sort of day in that it was very gray uh, when we were there. I think it cheered up later on in the daylight, but we were stuck on the end of this island, feeling very rough. And that's when we met up with two very very nice French people who took us in for breakfast and it was brilliant it was so good and then we saw the donkeys which were brilliant as well right so we're gonna head there and I'll show you when we get there right we're at the big bridge going across to Ile de Ré which is the name of the island I always call it something else I can't it's the name of the town that's on here I can't remember that at the, at the moment to be fair but it's quite um, built up like for industry and stuff like that around here. You can't really see the bridge as we're going over it because it doesn't curl around quite enough for you to see it. But it is, it's quite a long bridge really. Anyway, I'll see you over the other side. Right, so we're going down for some food down there. Just here is where me and Andy were looking at, thinking it was a bunker. It's actually a prison. We'll go back down there in a little bit. But we're gonna head to the main town where we got breakfast. Right, so we're down. I'm trying to work out where we had breakfast. It was somewhere around here. Oh, I think maybe right up at that end up there, at the opposite end. Well, I've got a photograph somewhere. I'll try and put it in of the car here. And we've got a very noisy child in the background playing on chains like a weirdo. Right, let's go and find somewhere to eat. I'm starving, man. It's like three o'clock. Right, so our last video was about over an hour ago. We've literally walked around the whole place and we've come back to the first place that we looked at because everywhere else is shut. I don't really understand why. Right, so we decided to go for the crepe place and it looks really good. Right, so Freddie's got the ham and cheese. I've gone for some sort of kebab one, which I don't really know. Oh, look chicken kebab one. You went for pizza one, didn't you? Yeah, pizza. Yeah, so, they all look really, really good. I'm gonna, this that the knife and fork's in, I'm gonna pinch that to put in the book and maybe some sugar things that my dad's got from his coffee. Bang those in the book as well. But he told me to be authentic this time with the food, so I'm trying to be. I'm going French food all the way. Right, we smashed the first bit, didn't we? <laughs> Now we're on to the second, but me and Fred's are gonna share this, to be fair. We've been, been quite good, aren't we? <laughs> right, so we're at what we found out was the prison when me and Andy came, but Freddie's found a little secret passage and he's making me go and have a look. So I've got to climb up there. I'm coming to have a look with him now. Right, so we're leaving my dad down there. And apparently we've got to go down this little, little passageway. So this was used, this was a no Napoleonic fort. Oh yeah, we've got a little lookout bit, haven't we? Yeah. Because you've got the, the moat around the edge of what is now the prison. That's where we've just been eating food over there. And then 
You see the bits that sort of stick out? This whole place is like a star shape. Now I wanna fly the drone, but I don't know whether I'm allowed to because this is still a working prison and it's a bit dodgy having drones up near prisons. I might get shot, but you never know. I might give it going a bit. But yeah, I like coming down, finding little secret things with you, Freds. Come on, anyway, let's head back up that way. Right, Freddy's go, gone down to the beach. Now, the prison is there, and he's telling me well, there's a tunnel under there. How far does it go under, though? Quite far. Quite far, under the prison? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> with the old sewers. He probably will with the sewers. Um, but yeah, this is what we were looking at when we first were camping. We thought it was bunkers, but I'm guessing it's lockouts for the prison. All up on the corner. They're on each corner, so. But the tide's out anyway. So we're gonna head up round. I just wanna show Freddy something that me and Andy saw last time we came. Right, he's made me come down to see this tunnel. And I had a feeling it wouldn't go very far. And it doesn't. But it does look like it's been blocked off at some point because it doesn't connect properly at the top. And so this... I, I reckon you could probably get right under the prison with this at some point. It's like a block. In fact, this didn't used to be a prison, did it? So I wonder if this was some sort of bit from when it was a fort, back when Napoleon was here. I don't know how long it's been a prison for, if I'm being honest. Right, so that's the entrance to the prison, which I know I've showed you before. 100% I've showed you before with Andy. But it just seems weird. It seems weird that you can just walk around here like just outside the prison, like I suppose you can with prisons in like the center of towns and stuff near us, but it just seems odd. Right, so me and Andy slept in the tent just over the top of that hill there. And we came and we saw these and we're like, oh look, 1940. Uh, and we, we noticed a few on here and there's absolutely loads. I don't think I'd noticed. I don't know what this is for. That's, there used to be a big wooden bar or something that fitted into it and that wall's been knocked down at some point. But, you know, 1874. Look how well they've done them though as well. They must have spent a lot of time stood here to do that. 1878. All the different names of all the different soldiers that have served here, 1872. And I thought it was just because they'd been on, on guard stood here. But actually, they're all the way along that wall. But I suppose there could have been lookouts along the wall as well. But yeah, they're just, just so good. And there's so many of them as well. And they all have... I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's the battalion or whatever. One, two, three, E. Because there's another one. I don't know, I've just seen it now. Oh yeah, one, two, three there. Look. Very windy today, very, very windy. But yeah, they're all written into the wall all over. Right, Freddy's just found a secret passage up there, but he wants to go and show you, so I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> right, editing Matt. Sorry, I just had to pop in. So Freddy clearly pressed the stop when he was running with the thing, so you didn't get to see it. I've got really sore eye. Anyway. Get back to the video, yes. Yeah, you didn't get to see him going down the secret passage. Sorry. Right, so next to the gates, Freddy's just found this. And we don't know what it is, but it's definitely got bullet holes in it. And there's writing on it. They're all like musket it. ball holes there's all up there. Writing on it over here. Oh, somebody written on it. Oh, yeah. I can't read what it says. It's too hard to read, but I don't know what that would be. It's like domed on the top. But clearly, they've been stood down near the barracks down here taking pot shots up at that because they're all on this side of it very strange right so i'm going to get some drone footage in a second i'm going to be naughty i've decided i'm going to do it i'm not going to get caught if i do if i do get caught i'll just act stupid because there's no signs about saying no drones or anything like that so i'm going to get on and do that but I've just been looking. It was started, it, they started building it in 1690. So a long time ago. So it's not really, um, Na, Napo, I keep wanting to say Napoleon, Na, Napoleonic. That's it. Na, <laughs> he keeps telling me off. Napoleonic. I want to call it the ice cream. 
uh, Neapolitana or whatever it is. But anyway, um, it's before that, it's well before that, uh, but obviously it was used in those wars. I'm not gonna say the word again. Um, but then in 1874, it was turned into a prison. Um, and if you looked at all the dates outside, they were round about 1874 and onwards, uh, right through to 1930 something, they stopped um, using it as this hard labor camp. So all the people in the outside area will have been doing hard labor and scratching the names into the walls. It makes perfect sense now. And it is a st still used, it's a high risk prison apparently as well. My dad just asked one of the guards. Um, so yeah. So find the drone over is probably a bad idea, but I think that's brilliant thinking about the prisoners in the 1800s and then they got shipped off to South America. You know, this was like a holding prison for them while they were waiting for the boat to come. Madness. Right, so we've decided we're not eating out tonight because I've got to go off and explore. So we're here. Intermarché. I do remember learning about Intermarchés when I was at school, like Ypres Market or whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna get in trouble for filming, so I better stop really. <laughs> oh no, he didn't seem to be bothered. Right, let's, uh, let's crack on and get inside. Right, I've got myself some prawns for anyone wanted a blood orange. Fish up here looks pretty cool though, to be fair. There's some good fish, some beasts. Look at that. There's some really, really good ones. So, I won't mind getting some proper good stuff and cooking it up, but I can't do it tonight, I haven't got time. So, maybe have to be a, another day. Oh, oysters as well. Right, so, don't know what to get. Some really good looking bits of food to be fair I might have to tell me that dad you wanted pork pie earlier there's pork pie on here yeah. <laughs> but yeah there's uh, there's all sorts of macaron there's meats and cheeses and things like that all looks very 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 interesting but I might I'm feeling a cooked chicken to be fair I might get a cooked chicken and some some bread and have like sandwiches or something, I don't know yet. Have you any idea what you want? Apart from the free water that you've just got. <laughs> uh, probably like that. You want some chicken as well? Yeah. Maybe get some chicken and a bit of salad or something? Yeah. Yeah? I am so tempted to get some snails. The only thing is, I don't know whether I'd be able to cook them right. I don't want to give myself food poisoning. So it's probably best to get some pre-cooked if we see any. But we need to try and work out what else we want. There's some really good stuff. We've also got our salad. Oh yeah, we've got a load of salad now to go with our, our chicken. Oh, we've not actually picked any chicken up. That'd be oh. a good idea, wouldn't it? Let's go and pick a chicken. Right, I think I want that one. Or maybe that one. Or well, maybe that Go for that one if you want. On that one. Whichever you want, just the make same. your mind up. Make your mind up. Uh, that one's quite big. I think that one's got the most, this one or this one's got the most meat on. Uh, so make your mind up, quick. This one. Go on then, get it. Uh, it's heavy. Yeah, you have that then. Go on. Heavy. Right, we've got some pan au chocolat and some croissants and some French bread. And it's Freddy's heavy. found <laughs> Freddy's found two bags of 18 croissants. Although it does say 10 on the side, but yeah. there's definitely more than 10 in there. There's 18 and it's three quid. Three quid for 18 uh, French sticks. Yeah. Well, thing is though, you know they're called French sticks? Yeah. You know because we're in France? Yeah. They're just called sticks. They're called baguettes. Oh, okay, fair enough. You're all right, I'm wrong. <laughs> right, need to get some food sorted for tea. Got the chicken, got the 
tomatoes and lettuce and cucumber and stuff and the the bread over there that looks really dodgy but it's good it's pretty cooked they're always the same right crack on with this and then we'll get some food eaten right so me and freddie are having our tea together um my dad is having his in a little bit so we've got freddie's chicken salad crab sticks i've got prawns crab sticks chicken a bit of salsa we've got some nice french bread and some chips as well tortilla chips and uh, we're away to go <laughs> you've got to take the thing off the inside you absolutely big nutter boy you okay doing that you sorted it yeah right anyway a little bit healthier and uh, sometimes when i'm by myself maybe i should do this more often anyway i'm gonna get on right it's 10 o'clock at night i'm just about to go back out from the apartment they're in there i can hear them talking away i meant to go at like seven o'clock and i've just not gone because of like stuff but i've got about 45 minutes to drive and then i'll be at the first location but the second one is just down the road so it shouldn't be too bad now i don't feel like i've done the behind the scenes or anything normally because my dad and freddie's been there i've been like focused on them making sure they're all right i feel a bit guilty about it but i wouldn't want it any other way anyway because at the end of the day i love spending time with them and I don't get as enough chance to do that so i've taken advantage of that but i do feel like i've neglected you a little bit which i know you'll understand and you'll, you'll get it so hopefully we should be okay with that but i'm off out i'm gonna try and do two and if i do one tomorrow night then i'm sorted anyway i've got four which is what i wanted to do anyway so it's not too bad it's just the behind the scenes it's a bit choppy it's a bit like one place then another place then another place not like the journey between which i normally do for you but it's not as easy when i've got those two with me because then i have to say to them like oh just stop a minute don't don't talk a minute while i'm just doing that i feel a bit bad so anyway I, you know me i have to explain everything i feel bad about everything to everyone and i but anyway i'm going <laughs> 